It's a profoundly challenging and often uncomfortable truth to confront, yet it is a reality we must acknowledge. Some individuals in our lives derive a disturbing sense of pleasure from causing harm and inciting chaos. Picture this for a moment. Imagine sharing those pivotal, meaningful experiences with someone you trust, investing your time and emotions into the relationship, only to later unearth the harsh reality that they are, in fact, the very source of your emotional distress and turmoil. It can be both shocking and painful to realize that someone you once considered a confidant or ally is undermining your well-being from within. Today, we are embarking on an important exploration of a topic that is as intriguing as it is unsettling. The identification of the signs that indicate you may be dealing with an inherently malevolent person. These individuals can appear in various forms, be it a colleague at work, a friend who seems supportive on the surface, or even a family member whom you thought you could rely on. They often excel at deceit, expertly concealing their true intentions behind a facade of charm and charisma. However, this exploration goes far beyond mere curiosity. Understanding these warning signs is crucial because it can lead to transformative changes in how we navigate our relationships and protect our overall well-being. The Stoics, those wise ancient philosophers, emphasize the importance of perception, reason, and virtue as the guiding principles in our lives. By becoming adept at recognizing these toxic traits, we empower ourselves to safeguard our peace of mind and nurture healthier, more authentic connections that are grounded in wisdom, self-awareness, and self-control. I invite you to join me on this journey as we uncover the five key indicators that can reveal the presence of an evil person in your life. By the conclusion of this video, not only will you possess the ability to identify these detrimental behaviors, but you will also gain practical strategies for protecting your mental health and overall well-being. If you find value in the insights we share here, I wholeheartedly encourage you to take a moment to hit that subscribe button. It's a small act that carries significant meaning for us, and be sure to watch every segment of this video. You won't want to miss the special bonus section where I'll unveil an effective approach for establishing strong boundaries with these toxic individuals, ensuring that you maintain your emotional integrity. Let's embark on this journey of self-awareness and resilience together. Number one, charming and charismatic. At first, the first sign to look out for is that many of these individuals possess an uncanny ability to be charming, almost magnetic in their presence. They light up the room with their energy, making everyone feel valued and appreciated, and they seem to know exactly what to say to put you at ease. At first glance, it may appear that you've encountered someone truly extraordinary, someone who possesses a depth of character and warmth that draws you in. However, as the Stoics wisely remind us, appearances can often be deceiving. The initial charm can be nothing more than a well-crafted disguise. Over time, as you get to know them better, you may start to notice subtle yet concerning signs. These individuals often dominate conversations, overshadowing others, and making every interaction revolve around themselves. Their self-centeredness may become increasingly apparent, and the initial allure of their personality can fade into something much darker. These behaviors are not mere personality quirks. They are significant red flags that should not be ignored. The Stoics teach us to maintain emotional equilibrium, advocating for a keen observation of people's true nature over time. Take a moment to consider how these individuals handle disappointments and setbacks. Do they respond with anger, lash out at others, or manipulate the situation to regain control? As Marcus Aurelius thoughtfully noted, such reactions can reveal a fundamental lack of virtue and integrity. Trust your instincts and grant yourself the necessary space to observe their true character. By staying grounded in wisdom and discernment, you will be better equipped to see beyond superficial charm and recognize what lies beneath. 2. Lack of Empathy Now moving on to the second sign, Lack of Empathy. One of the most definitive signs of a toxic person is their glaring disregard for the feelings and well-being of others. Empathy is the vital connective tissue that allows us to bond deeply with those around us, enabling us to offer support, share in joyful moments, 
and assist during challenging times. However, some individuals are completely devoid of this essential quality. They demonstrate no concern for how their actions or words affect others. This profound lack of empathy can wreak havoc on the emotional landscape of those in their vicinity, leaving lasting scars. The Stoics upheld the virtues of compassion and understanding as essential components of a well-lived life. Marcus Aurelius often spoke about the interconnectedness of humanity and the critical importance of considering the welfare of others as an integral part of our own existence. When someone exhibits a blatant disregard for the feelings of those around them, it serves as a clear warning sign. Imagine confiding in a friend about something deeply personal and vulnerable, only to have them dismiss your concerns or, even worse, mock you for your vulnerability. This not only creates a profound sense of isolation, but also reveals a troubling issue, a fundamental lack of basic human decency. The consequences of a lack of empathy extend beyond personal relationships and can permeate various aspects of life. Picture a boss who relentlessly pressures their employees without a shred of concern for their mental or physical well-being. This kind of leader fosters a toxic work environment where individuals feel undervalued and burnt out. Alternatively, consider a so-called friend who takes pleasure in undermining your achievements instead of celebrating them, reveling in your failures while disregarding your successes. In such scenarios, the Stoics would urge us to prioritize our peace of mind, recognizing that the absence of empathy in others reflects their character and not our worth. If you find yourself entangled with someone who exhibits such behavior, it becomes crucial to establish firm boundaries to safeguard your own emotional health. Seneca wisely reminds us that while we should strive to be kind and just, our actions should be a reflection of our own virtue rather than a reaction to the negativity of others. Third sign, manipulation. The trait of manipulative behavior is another hallmark of an evil person. Manipulation is often subtle and insidious, leaving you in a constant state of uncertainty about your own reality. Those who manipulate use deceit as a tool to control or influence others to fulfill their own desires. They possess a remarkable ability to twist situations, making you doubt your perceptions and judgments, frequently leaving you feeling confused, powerless, and even questioning your own sanity. This can create an environment of emotional turmoil that can be challenging to navigate. From a stoic perspective, achieving clarity of thought and seeing reality as it truly is holds paramount importance. When someone engages in manipulation, they are attempting to cloud your judgment and distort your understanding, making it exceedingly difficult to remain true to your principles and values. A common manifestation of manipulation is gaslighting, where the manipulator outright denies your experiences or shifts blame onto you, causing you to doubt your own sanity. For example, if you confront a friend about something hurtful they said, Instead of acknowledging the hurt they caused, they might accuse you of being overly sensitive or irrational. This not only erodes your confidence, but also keeps you dependent on their version of events, which can be a deeply damaging dynamic. Manipulators are also skilled at adopting the role of the victim, making you feel responsible for their happiness and emotional state. They often create scenarios that position themselves as the injured party, drawing you into their narrative and making it challenging for you to extricate yourself from their emotional web. Stoicism teaches us the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control, our own actions and responses, and what is not. You are not responsible for another person's emotions or overall well-being, and recognizing this truth can be liberating. Moreover, manipulators may employ charm or flattery as a means to an end. They make you feel special and valued, but over time, you'll likely notice that their compliments come with hidden strings attached. The Stoics remind us that true virtue stems from within, not from seeking validation or approval from others. Another manipulation tactic involves isolation, cutting you off from your support network, thereby making you more dependent on them and creating an environment in which they can maintain control. Recognizing manipulation can be particularly challenging, especially when you care deeply about the individual involved. However, the Stoics emphasize the importance of self-sufficiency and resilience, encouraging us to remain grounded and free from external control. 
The key lies in cultivating a sense of inner strength and understanding what truly matters to you. These are just a few of the signs to be aware of. As we continue, we'll explore more behaviors that can reveal an evil person. Stay tuned for number four in the next section, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The final part of this video includes a special bonus tip on setting firm boundaries with these individuals, so make sure to watch till the end. 4. Pathological Lying When it comes to the realm of manipulative behaviors, one of the most insidious is pathological lying. This form of deceit transcends the realm of simple, occasional white lies, delving into a much darker territory where individuals craft a distorted version of reality that serves solely their own interests. Pathological liars are often skilled at spinning elaborate tales and creating intricate fabrications, consistently manipulating the truth to suit their narratives. This relentless pattern of dishonesty can sow seeds of confusion and uncertainty in the minds of those around them, leaving others questioning their own perceptions and experiences. The pervasive nature of this dishonesty can have devastating consequences for relationships eroding the foundation of trust that is essential for any meaningful connection. As individuals entangled in a relationship with a pathological liar, it becomes increasingly difficult to discern fact from fiction. This erosion of trust can lead to significant emotional instability, heightened anxiety, and a pervasive sense of helplessness. Over time, you may find yourself second-guessing not only the words of the liar but also your own judgments and perceptions, which can be incredibly disorienting and detrimental to your overall mental health. The Stoics placed immense value on honesty and integrity, considering truth to be a cornerstone of a virtuous life. They recognized that deceit is not merely a personal failing, it represents a fundamental betrayal of one's character and the trust of others. For philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Living in accordance with truth and reason is vital for achieving inner peace and emotional well-being. Therefore, pathological lying stands in stark opposition to Stoic principles, as it undermines both personal integrity and the foundation of healthy, flourishing relationships. Recognizing the pattern of dishonesty is crucial when confronting a pathological liar. The Stoics would advocate for direct and clear communication regarding the importance of honesty in your interactions. For instance, expressing sentiments such as, trust is essential for me, and I need honesty in our relationship. If this pattern continues, I will have to reconsider our connection, is a way to establish firm boundaries while communicating your expectations. This proactive approach not only asserts your values, but also serves as a powerful reminder of the significance of integrity in any relationship. Setting these boundaries becomes especially critical when dealing with manipulators. While you cannot control the actions of others, you absolutely can control your responses and the decisions you make in light of their behavior. The Stoics emphasized the importance of maintaining inner peace and integrity, making it essential to protect yourself from harmful and toxic relationships. If you discover that a relationship is consistently built on a foundation of lies, it becomes necessary to evaluate its worth and reconsider your place within it. Ultimately, valuing honesty and integrity is essential for leading a fulfilling and meaningful life. Pathological lying poses a significant threat to both truth and trust, and the Stoics remind us of the importance of living in alignment with our core values. By addressing dishonesty directly, setting clear boundaries, and prioritizing authenticity in our interactions, we can safeguard ourselves from manipulation and foster healthier, more trustworthy relationships. Living in truth is not merely a personal choice. It is vital for achieving a life characterized by peace, virtue, and genuine connection with others. By committing to truthfulness in our interactions, we cultivate a sense of clarity and stability in our lives, which is essential for both personal growth and harmonious relationships. Five. Are their needs always first? When evaluating the dynamics of your relationships, it's crucial to ask yourself a fundamental question. Are their needs consistently prioritized over yours? This question serves as an invitation for a deeper examination of the underlying dynamics at play within the relationship. Manipulative individuals often approach their interactions from a self-centered perspective, 
where their wants and desires consistently overshadow your own. This behavior can manifest in various ways, from persistent requests for your time and emotional support to more overt demands that blatantly disregard your preferences and personal boundaries. Over time, this pattern of behavior can lead to feelings of frustration, resentment, and neglect. You may find yourself internalizing the belief that your needs are less important, which can significantly erode your self-esteem and sense of agency. This emotional toll can create a cycle of dependency and insecurity, leaving you feeling unworthy and undervalued. The Stoics, particularly the philosopher Epictetus, emphasize the importance of discernment in recognizing when others exploit your kindness and generosity. By fostering awareness of these dynamics, you can better protect your well-being and cultivate healthier, more balanced relationships. It's important to understand that prioritizing your own needs is not an act of selfishness. Rather, it is a vital acknowledgement of your intrinsic value as a person deserving of respect and consideration. To effectively reassert your needs within the relationship, clear and assertive communication is essential. For instance, if a friend consistently chooses activities that cater solely to their interests, you might say, I genuinely enjoy our time together, but I'd love for us to explore my interests as well. It would mean a lot to me if we could find a balance. This not only establishes mutual respect, but also encourages a more equitable and balanced dynamic within the relationship. Setting boundaries is an ongoing process that requires consistent reflection and assertiveness. As relationships evolve, it is essential to continuously reassess your priorities and the balance of give and take. Stoicism teaches us resilience, reminding us to remain calm and composed in the face of potential pushback when asserting our needs. When you take a stand for yourself, others may react defensively or attempt to guilt trip you into compliance. By maintaining your composure and standing firm in your convictions, you not only protect your own well-being, but also model the importance of mutual respect for those around you. Valuing your own needs creates space for authentic connections to flourish. Healthy relationships thrive on mutual understanding, where both parties feel valued, heard, and respected. When you prioritize your own needs, you not only empower yourself, but also encourage those around you to do the same. Fostering an environment of open communication and empathy, Embracing the Stoic teachings on self-respect allows you to recognize manipulative patterns and assert your needs with confidence and clarity. Ultimately, valuing your own needs is about reclaiming your sense of self and ensuring that you live authentically. By doing so, you enrich your life and enhance your overall well-being, paving the way for deeper, more meaningful connections. Remember, you deserve relationships that honor both your needs and the needs of others allowing for a harmonious balance that benefits everyone involved.